Will this be the best image AI on the market? Hello, my friends, how are you doing? Stable Diffusion 3 has been announced. There's a lot of hype around that, but in this video, I want to have a critical look at the images we have so far, which probably also are cherry picked. And I'm looking forward to Stable Diffusion 3, but we have seen in the past that the images may be a little bit over promising. So I want to check that out. I want to compare it to Mid Journey, which is good aesthetically, but not so good with following the prompt. And I can promise you, there's a lot of very interesting and surprising things that we will find in these images. Let's get started. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter to get AI news faster and support me on Patreon to get cool rewards like workflows for ConfUI. So the first thing that is the most important for you is that you can go right now on their website and you can sign up to get early access for that and hopefully be chosen. Of course, they also have here the announcement where they speak about Stable Diffusion 3 and the images that have been created with that. So that is pretty cool. And they have also some interesting information here. For example, that there's going to be different model sizes ranging from 800 million to 8 billion parameters, which is good because it helps to democratize the access of these models that are going to be open source again, so you can use it on different systems with different GPUs, different power, and still use the models, render the images with that. So that's pretty cool. Over to Twitter, we have here more examples of what it can actually do. Most of them are posted by Emat, who is the founder of Stability AI. And he also gives us some more additional information here. So for example, here we have some notes from him. And what stands out here is that it says it accepts multimodal input. Now, that's interesting. Uh, it's not quite sure what it means right now. Multimodal can be a lot of things, right? For example, at the moment, you can input images and text and video already into Stable Diffusion. So that is already multimodal, but there might be other inputs, maybe 3D shapes or other things that could give you more control over the composition, the colors and so on, and actually create more interesting artistic output. So let's have a look at some image examples here. And here we have a robot with a shield stuck to his chest saying, I eat MJ and D3 for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and dessert, which is pretty cool here because it's a very long text, which is something that is very, very, very hard to do with AI, if not impossible. The spelling is correct. On the other hand, Another thing that stands out to me, and this is the critical point of view, when you look at the background, we look at the hands of the robot. Oh, there we have a little bit of things that are breaking apart. And this is interesting because with AI, if a lot of stuff is going on in an image, the smaller stuff often doesn't get as much love, as much detail by the AI. So while the text is super cool and the robot is kind of okay, the hands of the robot, not so great. And these kind of packages here in the background, they're kind of melting into each other and the detail is lost. Also with this complex structure up here for the roof, that's not working anymore. So it's interesting that it still has some limitations, even though it's very good at text, it's not good at everything at the moment. And this is good to know, especially also because this will going to improve with the training from community models. It's still a good start. And this is the worst it will get. So that is pretty good to know our next example. And this is absolutely mind blowing. So let's have a look at the video here where different elements are replaced. And it's absolutely amazing how everything still is very consistent, works very well together. The details are beautiful, the light and shadows working together. And then it's even animated with some parallax movement. So that is amazing. It's really mind blowing. One thing that stands out to me here is that the cat is digital painting style and then it changes to a raccoon that is photographic style. So it's not 100% consistent to the style of the image, the artistic style. But overall, this is mind blowing in the way how well this works. Another thing to point out here, though, is that the sushi is not exactly working. You can see the fish lying on top of the sushi rolls where it actually shouldn't even be fish is kind of ripped up, ripped apart. So 
that's also something that didn't work 100%. And you can see here that it changed while changing over to the raccoon with the sushi shape. Let's go here to the next image where we also have a prompt. It says photo of a 90s desktop computer on a work desk. On the computer screen, it says welcome. On the wall in the background, we see beautiful graffiti with the text SD3, very large on the wall. And of course, in our example here, that works perfectly. No questions asked and it really looks very good. The computer is right. The graffiti is very good. It's in the background behind the monitor. Everything here is working very well. Now let's go over to mid journey real quick. And here we also get some pretty nice results. For example, this one, which has a very nice computer and it has a graffiti in the background. So a lot of elements here are good, even though the graffiti doesn't say SD3 in the background and it says welcome on the screen, but not in the screen. So that might be a problem. It says SD3 on the computer though, which is kind of funny. And then we have this image by mid journey, which I love from the composition, the colors, the light, Everything is pretty cool here. We have welcome on the screen. We have SD3 in the background, even though here's a neon sign, not a graffiti, but this artistically from the expression I really like. And that might also be a critical point here in comparison that this artistically is a little bit stale. It doesn't feel as artsy, as expressive as fun to look at as the mid journey image that we can see here, which has a very cool, nice vintage vibe to it. And that has been a problem in the past with the Stable Diffusion Vanilla models that they are not very stylish and nice to look at. But of course, the community training is mostly going to fix that by giving us better solutions. So let's have a look here at the next image. It says in the prompt resting on a kitchen table is an embroidered cloth with the text good night and an embroidered baby tiger. Next to the cloth, there's a lit candle. The lighting is dim and dramatic. Now this is a very beautiful image, looks very nice. I like the stitching of the baby tiger, very nice design here, I like the candlelight. But one thing stands out to me here is, you can see that the candlelight doesn't make any shadow, the shadow is coming from the window, but not from the flame. So ah, still some room for improvement here. Now Mitchani again makes an image that's much more aesthetically pleasing. It's really beautiful, but it doesn't really follow the prompt because the tiger isn't on the cloth and that there is no good morning text. However, I also asked Gemini to create the same image for us. Now the stitching is not great. The tiger doesn't really look like a tiger, but the benefit here is it is actually kind of the embroidering pier, the text is here kind of with good night and the candle does do a shadow that's actually good and also the dramatic dim light is there more than in the Stable Diffusion 3 image. So each of them has a part of the puzzle to the perfect image, but none of them hits it 100% correctly. So we are still on a journey for the perfect AI image generation. Let's go here for the next image. It says three transparent glass bottles on a wooden table. The one on the left has red liquid and the number one, the one on the middle has blue liquid and the number two, and the one on the right has green liquid with the number three. And of course, as we can see here with the result that is perfect, I actually want to know how many tries does it take to get this perfection for the image where there's no color spilling. And even down here where the light is spilling through to the other side into the shadow, there is no spilling of the color also. So that's also correct. Very beautiful, very good result. Of course, Mid Journey couldn't handle that at all on the first roll. It did again images that are very aesthetically pleasing. And it did actually put the numbers on the bottle, but not in the right order. Also, the colors are not in the right order. Here's even the wrong color of the liquid, but aesthetically. It's pretty beautiful. And Gemini also did a pretty bad job on that. Couldn't figure it out. The first image is actually pretty good. It says one, two, three, and it has the three different colors. So that's pretty good. It's just that the color order is wrong here and it's not very aesthetically pleasing, but otherwise, actually pretty close. I think if we roll this a couple more times, we probably get a pretty good result that is fitting to our prompt. 
Now this one here is one that is hard to do because it has some very specific requirements on where is what in the image. So the prompt says, photo of a red shape on top of a blue cube, behind them is a green triangle, on the right is a dog and on the left is a cat. Again, very beautiful. I like that also the green from the ground is reflecting into the fur of the animal. So you can see here from below in the shadow areas here around the mouth, but also here around the lower body, there is green light in the shadow reflecting from the ground. So that is pretty good. And of course, the composition is completely correct. Again, I would like to see how many rolls it took to actually create this. Now, one thing to point out here is that the anatomy of the cat, I would say is not completely correct. The head seems very, very small, but overall, very good image. Now, surprisingly, even though Mitchoney didn't manage to do any of that 100% correct, we actually have one role here that is coming very close. We have our blue cube, the red ball, and the green triangle in the background. The cat is on the wrong side and the dog is missing. But other than that, actually pretty close, especially for an AI that is known for not sticking too well to the prompt that you enter. And I think with a couple more rolls and a little bit of adjustment, we might get a better result, especially maybe with a multi-prompt. Gemini in this case didn't really manage to do any of that. It just created these shapes in random places. Next, we have three clowns sitting in a diner with the text stable diffusion in the background. Now, this one, is really interesting to look at, especially in detail, because here you see some of the shortcomings. And one of the biggest shortcomings, if we zoom in over here, is you can see right away the hands, because they are often very freakish in these images. So that is interesting to see that in that case didn't really work at all. You can also see down here, for example, that the hands often are not great, very deformed or even missing like over here. And here, interesting example also where we have a clown from the side with a pretty deformed head, especially when you look here at the lips, which look more like a caricature, interesting. And then this freakishly large zombie hand here and the ripped up cup here. So it's interesting that when you have more images online that are created, you see the images that are not the marketing material, that are not cherry picked, and then you see actually shortcomings of the models that of course gonna be fixed over time. Don't worry about that. Surprisingly here, Midjourney is doing a very good job. Again, here the hands are not great, but what I really like about this is how pleasing it is to look at the image the colors, the drama, the artistic expression, everything here is really coming together in a very nice way. And here we have the last example for today with Stable Diffusion 3. Very, very nice example here where the text is made out of the smoke of the train. Crazy cool idea here and very nice image created by the AI. So as you have seen, Stable Diffusion brings some massive potential to the table. It doesn't have all the answers, but it adds some new, really amazing abilities, especially with text in the image. By the way, did you notice that most of the text, if not all of the text, is sans serif? That's kind of interesting. And I want to see what this can do for video creation, because that's probably going to be very, very mind blowing. Let me know in the comments what you think. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah, I wish you a good weekend.